Today I'll show you how you can set up your WhatsApp agent so it can understand your text and voice messages. First I'll show you a quick demo how it works and then we'll go step by step tutorial. And by the way you can get this template for free in my school community, check the link in the description. So when I press execute in NA10, uh, here is my WhatsApp agent, I can ask them who is going to pay today. I have a spreadsheet with my school members, you can see it here. and. Now I receive the answer. It will go to uh, Google Sheets and send me the answer of my members. Yeah, it's here. Will Smith, Cristiano Ronaldo, Elon Musk. So yeah, we see that it understands uh, the voice messages and goes to the uh, spreadsheet. So let's build this agent. Uh, first we press here plus and choose WhatsApp Business Cloud triggers on messages and we have uh, WhatsApp trigger. So uh, we press here and we need to set up the credentials. We press create new credentials and we need a client ID and client secret. To connect your agent to WhatsApp you need a meta business suite. So you open it. If you don't have it you can easily create it and then goes here to settings and we go to accounts apps. Then we press add and we create new app. If you just created your meta business suite you need to confirm your uh, phone number in order to create this app. So press create a new app. Then we choose any name, choose our um, email, press next. Here in use cases we press others, then other and press next. Then we choose business next and we are good to go. We press create app. Now we see the products and we choose set up WhatsApp here. So yeah, now we see this one. Welcome to WhatsApp business platform. We go to app settings, press basic and we copy our app ID and put it here to NA10 client ID and then client secret. This is our app secret. We press show and we copy our app secret, press save and we are good to go. So connection tested successfully. But in WhatsApp we need to create two credentials. So we have the second credential which is called WhatsApp business tool, send message. Let's create the second uh, credential. We press here and create new credential. And here we need access token and business account ID. I know for WhatsApp it's a little bit confusing but don't worry, I'll, I'll show you how you need to set up. So we go back to Meta Business U to developers. Here we choose WhatsApp and press API setup. And here we need first to choose our phone number. If you don't have phone numbers, you can either uh, press uh, get test number and you will receive the test number. Or if you need to create the new number or to connect your existing number, you press add phone number, uh, add the information here, display name, and check out the guidelines for uh, display names. So you choose name here, let's say name, then you choose business category, then you choose description, it's optional, press next, then you add your number and confirm it with either text message or with a phone call. And by the way, it can take from one to three business days to confirm your real phone number. But now I'll show you with the test number how it works. So you choose test number, then you choose two recipient and here you need to add your number. Yeah, you press manage phone number list and add your phone number. You add your phone number just to test and then you press generate access token. Continue, select all, save. And now we copy our access token and put it to NA10 here and our business account ID, which is basically this one, WhatsApp business account ID. We just press here, copy, put it here and then press save. Yeah, now connection successfully. And you can check that it works if you see the test number here. So it means that everything is working. And here you can choose your number. I will just copy my own number. Just don't use plus uh, before the number. And body, you can just choose here right now, hi. And then let's connect our agent. We create AI agent, choose this, define below. And let's see, for now we use text here. And then if we press execute and we connect our LLM, let's do GPT-5. And let's check it. Yeah, so the trigger is working. 
now we go to agent and let's add our text let's pass it to the agent so we add body and here we use as usual our system message prompt and then we connect here and now we can add the answer from ai agent yeah by dragging uh, output field so let's check press execute yeah and now we see yeah that it's working but let's add voice messages because i love interacting with my agents with voice so we go here and you can just copy uh, my template but i'll show you how you can do it on your own so we use switch then here we choose the message type if you open the message type it can be either text or audio so if we see open here it's the type we choose text and if it's equal to text so we understand that it will be text if it's equal to audio then it means that it's voice message so with text we just drag it here and with voice we need http request we use node http request and then we use this url and then we add authentication we press generic credential type press here found header and i've already had header authentication but we'll create new one press here here we write authorization and the value expression we put bearer space and we add our access token this one so i copy this and put it here i can add the name and press save so basically to understand the voice we need two steps first we need to get the link and then we need to get the file from this link so this is the first step when we execute we press hi how are you let's see yeah so we get the link this is the url that now we we want to download and then we add the second http request and we put this link add also our authorization choose the same uh, header authentication and then in options we need to add response here and response format we choose file data so now if we ex execute this step yeah now we have this file so and now we just need to add this file to openai to transcribe it we choose openai then transcribe recording and we transcribe this recording and now we add this to agent and we go here transcribe and add text here so now we have text yeah if it's from voice message and uh, text body if it's from uh, text message so let's test hey man how is it going yeah now we see that it goes to audio messages and now yeah now it works yeah i'm doing well yeah so and after that you can add as usual any tool you want for example you can add your sheet let me show you we add the sheet for example this one this is the sheet of the school members yeah just an example and i can copy my prompt paste it here and ask the question about this who is going to pay today if you don't know how to add uh, google credentials if you are using cloud version so just press uh, go go here and add create new credential and press just sign in with google and you are good to go but if you are using self-hosted version you need to do a little bit more actions so you can find this tutorial in my school community press close yeah and now let's see yeah this is exactly the members who will pay today because of the date yeah you can find this today one two three person and he sends all this information and today's date and total for the period so grab this template in my free school community and see you in the next video